following Dr. King's tragic assassination, black student activism swept college campuses from coast to coast. Fueled by the black power movement, African-American students would revolutionize American higher education, demanding the admission of more black students, the hiring of more black faculty, and the creation of an entirely new academic field, black studies. Black power was transformative in speaking about radical black dignity and citizenship and raising black consciousness. They criticize white supremacy and really criticize white privilege and white people. And that spread throughout the United States and globally in the 1960s. One key aspect of the black power movement was the call for self-determination. To many young black people, this meant taking control of their education, moving the history of African Americans in this country from the margins to the center. By the time we hit the late 1960s, there are more numbers of black students who begin to enter campuses as a result of the activism that is taking place in the rest of the country. Stokely Carmichael is really the biggest activist who participated in both civil rights and black power during the 60s. He was a freedom writer and sat in on lunch counters. He knew Dr. Martin Luther King Jr went to jail 27 times between 1961 and 1966. Stokely and the Black Power Movement really helped transform the Black Student Movement into a Black Studies Movement that is demanding Black history be taught at all universities and even high schools. In 1968, protests erupted at San Francisco State College. The school's Black Student Union launched a massive student strike that lasted five months. San Francisco State in 1968 is a game changer because these are protesters who are disciplined but at the same time are ready to confront the police. Students are going to be arrested and they are determined to transform San Francisco State. The success of the San Francisco State College strike would spread to nearly 200 other colleges across the country. The results of the student protests led to the recruitment of more brown and black students, the hiring of black professors and administrators, and the creation of black studies departments. 